Wall. Our top story tonight, four students were taken into custody following a major brawl at a high school basketball game. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Natalie Shepard. I'm Jessa Breisbeck. We appreciate you being there. It is a story we first brought you last night as breaking news. The fight prompting school officials to tell everyone to get out. CBS 58's Michelle Fiore joins us with reaction from students who were at that game. Michelle. Natalie Jessup, we're learning more about the fight. Four girls and police say they're all students. The fight caused a major disruption at Tosa West, but none of the students are Tosa West students. People were screaming, so that's when people started running, so I just started running with them and I got gone. I, I was out of there. It's another disruption, again, during a sporting event between rival schools. This is overwhelming how we have to go through three fights in in one year. Elijah Jackson was in the middle of this mess. All I saw was just cops everywhere. It was just terrible. Like that was the worst fight I've ever seen from like both schools. The Tosa West Junior was also present when fights disrupted a Tosa East Tosa West football game in the fall and a basketball game last winter and he's fed up. Stop all of this violence here at this school. Stop making like our community bad. Police took four girls into custody. Students from Brickfield East, Menominee Falls, UWM and Tosa East. Antoine Perry saw the fight and saw school resource officers jump to action. Well, they started pushing everybody back and then telling people to leave like the place because there was a ton of fights going on. Every single person needs to exit the school right now. The student section cleared out in seconds. Police arrived and got the rest out. Things pretty cleared out. Inside the school is pretty good. We just have to deal with on the west side. A lot of people was like running. It was like soda spilling everywhere, like drinks. People was like slipping. Fleeing so fast, things got left behind, like coats and backpacks. I left my coat. I literally, I had to get my coat, everything out of the locker. Even students who weren't at the game felt jitters as students who were there started posting on social media. I was receiving like so many notifications like in Snapchat. I was just in the middle of doing my homework and I see police cars outside of here, right here out of school. I was, I was like, oh my gosh, I don't know what to feel about being here anymore at school. I want to feel safe too. Initial witness accounts say that somebody pulled out a gun in the middle of this fight. Police tell us their investigation shows those reports were unfounded and no gun was involved. Back to you.